I'm still in America. Yeah. Beautiful, elegant, sinful, and arrogant. Ooh. It's pity hysteria after. Yeah. Back. Back at it like a good, uh, happy snack habit. Oh, man. That's seasonal. A, that's a lot of words. I was trying know. to think. Do I want to say seasonal snack habit? Because people are definitely snacking during this holiday season. What? How you spell um, that we really R U G L U A R L Y? How, how do I spell it? How do you it? pronounce it? R U G. Yeah. R R E G L U A R. Regular. Yeah. I've always said regular. I've always said regular. <laughs> regularly. I, 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 or regularly. Regularly. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, it is. But um Don't don't hate on anyway. my clear diction. I was about to say wait now. <laughs> don't hate on my clear diction. Hey, so y'all know we back on it, back on it. So it's the Indian Ocean slave trade was likely bigger than the Atlantic trade. So bigger, I believe that because there was a lot of ocean, a lot of places to go. So if you had that bread, you sped. Yeah, you got out and find out who your counterparts were around you and what they had to see if you can make that swap. Now I'm getting it. I understand. Look at the hell on this slave. Look it at was, the booty on this slave. It was a business. It was a business. It was a, it was a business. And people made it seem like it was just outlaw. But it no, was, it was a business all was over the slave. world. It was just this unfortunate period all of happening. Now it was unfortunate. Pure history. Slaves in Istanbul were people of many different races. Skin color did not mark a person as free or enslaved. Mm. Okay. Mm, so you heard that. Hold on. That's important. Skin He's, color did not mark a person as free. Or as enslaved. enslaved. So it didn't matter what color you were. You nope. could have been a slave or a free person. That was that's it That's right big. Now. That's big. That and that's it. in Istanbul. Okay. The descendants of those enslaved within the Ottoman Empire. That's so pretty. Unlike the descendants of enslaved Africans, have not faced centuries of racism and discrimination. Okay. Mm -hmm. The trafficking of Africans into slavery began much further back in time than many people realize. Okay. With enslaved people shipped not across the Atlantic Ocean, but the Indian Ocean instead. Okay. The uh. Indian Ocean slave trade is probably the oldest of the slave trades and transported more human beings and it was multi-directional. Oh, go either Exports way. Exports of the enslaved from the Indian Ocean to the Muslim world grew exponentially after Arab traders won control of the Swahili coast okay. and sea routes in the 8th century. The traffic of millions of human beings from Africa's east coast led to the emergence of African diaspora communities like the Shidis in Pakistan and India and the Afro-Iraqis in Basra. Okay. Islamic law does not permit slave trading. Many Muslims throughout the Indian Ocean world ignored those rules. And so they plundered and captured Africans, Indians, Southeast Asians, usually non-Muslims. Hit, hit pause. Boom. Yeah. That's what I was looking for. But exactly. I mean, it's not a specific age, but, but he just said he that just all the said, people that they grabbed. Exactly. And this is a reputable resource, the Smithsonian Channel. This ain't the Wikipedia. And that's a Harvard professor. Well, he didn't say Harvard. He said... I thought that was on his title. He said something law school. I didn't forget. I started to ask. I thought it said Harvard Law. Um, no, it didn't say that. But he said something law school. So he's also a historian that, has, that can speak to this. But he also mentioned about the East Eastern yep. Asian. Yep. So now we know when we do a search, we need to be looking for Eastern, Eastern Asian. Asian slaves. So this is really on point. Both Christianity and Islam asserted the value of a person as created by God. Yet adherents to both faiths accepted the capture, sale, and ownership of men, women, and children from Africa. The Atlantic trade to the West centered on labor and shipped at least two men for every woman. Wow. The Indian Ocean trade to the East centered on services and included soldiers, cooks, and concubines. It shipped roughly two women for every man. Wow. Okay, so Ugh. so the West slave trade when they wanted what did he say? They took they had the the men. 
product. Two men to one. It was uh, pr- about producing. Producing. Right. And the other was services. And the east, exactly. So there you go. When you want this thing, you go to the west. Oh, when you wow. want this commodity, let me go over here to the east. Wow. That was the same concept saying like, man, you know what? I'm about to go to I'm about to go to Home Depot for my tools, but I'm about to get go to the mall for my shirt. You know, I'm just like, I got to go to this specific specific place to get these specific goods yep. and services. Above this trade was in modern day Tanzania under control of the Omani Arab Empire mm. from the 17th century. For 200 years, it specialized in three things. Ivory, spices, and slaves. There you go. Ivory, spices, slave. By 1807, Britain had finally turned its back on the slave trade. 1807. Naval warships were dispatched to suppress the slave trades of other nations, leading the British Royal Navy into the Indian Ocean and into direct contact with the slave traders of Zanzibar. Mm. That was a great Three minute packed video. Yeah, it's too short. Oh For that my to be god! Three that was that gave a lot, a of, lot in yeah, three minutes. So that did. was gave what, uh, some things that we were looking for in three minutes. It sure did. So now we know kind of like where we need to go and what we need to look at in regards to other areas of slavery and how may we can how may may how we may be able to search for the um the eastern the, and the specific well, the asian slave trade but he said eastern asia yeah that was i mean i'm like whoa okay okay and that was good to know that they went in directions in each direction what it sounds like sent something different yeah when when they when you wanted a certain commodity when you wanted ivory what did he say slaves spices and spices you went to the eastern area of the ocean wow when you wanted cotton and i forgot what he said two other things you would go to the western part so now it's, it, it really truly makes sense man everybody had it really everybody does. was some form of a slave it was just matter how cheap your your slave was you know that was the difference how many i can get for this price that's the only difference that's and only difference. and what you know so two it was two men to a woman woman on the west and two women to a man on the east it's east. like omg Wow. Wow. Yo. Wow. Well, let's continue learning. This was really, really good. And I like so the three-minute pack. It just hits you with the boom. But yeah. The, it's like when you chew Big Red Bubblegum, you get all that, ooh, all that flavor. Right? That's yes. what I start chewing. And then it's after 10 chews, it's gone. Not Big Red. <laughs> yes. Juicy Fruit might do that. Big Red, Juicy Fruit, uh-huh. Double Mint, all of them uh-huh. packs. You talking, you talking out of the wall. Spearmint. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Is there well, one, no, that Spearmint might last you a little longer. No, the only one that lasts is Big Red. It no keep that way. Good, that good cinnamon taste stay mm. up in your mouth. I don't agree. Anyway, All right, like, guys. comment, subscribe. Yeah, this was good. Don't take a nose dive and comment down in the section below if you want some more. That's right, guys. See you in the next video. And don't forget to smash, 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 smash that like button. Smash, smash. Share the video. And we'll see you on our next live. That's right. I guess i see you next, next live week, time. We already did the live this week, didn't we? Yeah. Love you guys.